So, you know, I don't know whether, Zach and uh, Kathleen, you've actually listened to the July 11th uh, hearing, congressional hearing on yeah. COVID-19, right? Yeah. Two yes. doctors testifying. Yeah. Right. Yeah, there is an author of uh, what's the name of the report, Proximal Oranging, that was a report that Dr. Fauci was used on February 9th or 10th when he briefed the White House in terms of the recent development on the COVID. He actually used that report to silence all the questions regarding impossible lab leak origin of the COVID-19. And that was the, the congressional hearing. They invited Dr. I believe Andre and Dr. Gary. Uh, two of them are the, are the two of the authors of bunch of authors of that um, uh, peer-reviewed article that published by Natural Science. So that's exactly why how these doctors are complied to say no, don't don't go there because I don't want to offend China because China has you know literally not only paying my research, they have the largest gene bank in the world that I need to do my research and I need to continue my research. I have been collaborating with Chinese scientists for the last ten years. You know, so I wanted people to understand how much power they have. Well, and, and I think that you sent me something, too, uh, Ava, about Australian politician John Rudick's speech about COVID-19 and COVID vaccines in Parliament. Yes. And it was censored by YouTube recently, removed just seven hours after it was uploaded. Uh, Sequoia, yes. Sequoia Capital, a CCP-controlled U.S. investment firm. I want people to hear that. Sequoia no. Capital, a CCP-controlled U.S investment firm invested 11.5 million in youtube and so so the media our medical mm -hmm. our education we do not have control it's an illusion to think that we do well I, I think it's a partnership between the u.s corporations in conjunction with the ccp